If you calibrate your BenQ SW display with Palette Master Element and suddenly the calibration stops and you receive a sensor measurement error, this video is going to tell you why that's happening and show you how to fix it. In addition, sometimes the calibration would finish, however, during the validation process it would fail and the fix for this would be very similar to what I'm about to show you as well. I'm Art and Art is Right. Before we start, subscribe if you're new and hit on the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload cool new videos like this. A quick explanation of why that's happening. Essentially, there are other calibration programs that are running in the background. Many of these programs are one that distribute with the device that you have purchased. They're OEM software and they're great to have on your system because if you ever run your BenQ hardware calibrate display in a mixed display environment where the other displays are only software calibration capable or if you're running this display with a laptop and you want to calibrate the other display, having those OEM software is going to be essential for calibrating them. The thing is that you can go in and uninstall those software. However, when you need to do a software calibration, you would then have to go through the process of installing a software again. It takes a lot of time, process, and effort. The other thing too, the reason why these programs that are running in the background is conflicting with Palette Master Elements because when you have the device plug in, these programs are designed to constantly communicate with these calibration devices. So what's really going on is that when Palette Master Element is requesting the information from the device, it's getting intercepted by these programs. Essentially, what we can really do here is remove these programs from the startup. I'm running Windows 10 on my Dell XPS 15 laptop, and the best way to check to see if you have a program running on the background or not, or if any of these programs are starting with the computer, is to go click down here on the taskbar towards the right. There's usually an arrow pointing up, and you can identify all the software. What I have done with this laptop is install a cocktail of calibration software. I1 Profiler, I1 Studio, Color Monkey Display, Color Monkey Photo, and also Spider X Elite calibration software. So there's a few of them that are running in the background. The nice thing about the latest release of I1 Profiler and I1 Studio is that even though there is a smaller program that is designed to launch with your system, x right doesn't really put it in there anymore and it doesn't really restart with your system so that's one of the good things but if you ever need to go and remove any of these startup programs here's how you would do it so Control alt delete and you would simply go into task manager in the task manager there's a whole bunch of tab at the very top startup this is where you would come in and identify the programs that are starting with your computer the first thing that you'll see is calibration loader you can choose to disable this. This is probably one of the byproduct software that gets installed with all these software calibration programs. Color Monkey Tray. This is the one where you definitely want to come in and disable. Color Monkey Display Tray, Color Monkey Photo Tray. If you have i1 Profiler Tray, you want to disable that as well, along with i1 Studio Tray. So as long as you have those trays disabled, you should be good. Another place where you can check on your system is to window R and this will pull up the run dialog as you see here on the bottom of my screen. I'll drag this to the middle and what you want to type in there is MS config. This is not a dialog where if you're unfamiliar with this, I would tell you to come in and play with this so much so because you can really disrupt the boot sequence of your machine. But this is one place to come and check to see if the other software are launching with your computer after you have taken out from the startup sequence. And as you go into here, service tab. At the very bottom, there's this thing saying hide all Microsoft services. This will hide all of Microsoft services, leaving only the third party services exposed. The only thing that I see here is X-Rite Device Service Manager. And if you use an X-Rite device with Palette Master Element to run the calibration, you should leave this running at startup because these are generally the one that will load all of the driver necessary for the device to work with third party programs. From here, you can simply click OK and then you're pretty much set. Just restart your system and try to run the calibration again. So if your calibration stops in the middle and give you a sensor measurement error, or even if your calibration finishes and fail the validation, this is a great way to come in and verify that there are no other calibration software running in the background conflicting with your device. If you have any questions about this, leave it in the comment section below. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, hit on the bell to be notified every time I upload cool new contents like this. And until next time, I was right.